Okay, so Viper Venom Packs. This can make up to eight gallons, depending on the concentration. So what we're gonna do, this is the maximum strength brightener. What we're gonna do, we're gonna flip it around, and there's instructions for different strengths right here. So light duty, I have a coil that's not too bad. We're gonna go light duty, we're gonna add four ounces or half a cup for one gallon of water, which will make up to eight gallons of formula. So I'm using the ERCOM battery powered coil cleaner. And basically we have three bags, two filled with water, and I have one more here that I'm gonna fill with coil cleaner and water. And then I'm gonna put this bag inside here, give the coil a soak down, and then we use these bags after to rinse it. So let's see how this goes. Now I don't have a measuring cup, but this is a 16 ounce cup, and I filled it about a quarter of the way. We're gonna add this to the bag and then water. So I do want to show you how easy it is. Each bag has its own hose. And there's a hose that goes inside here into the, the pump, the coil cleaner. This is a quick connect fitting. Each bag just gets connected to this hose. No problem, we're done, we disconnect it, we put the new bag in. All right, see what it says here? Clean coils using water only. That's because this is a micro channel coil. Now, downstairs when I mixed up my batch, I forgot that this was a micro channel, to be quite honest with you, I totally forgot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix a new batch with the Viper coil cleaner, the yellow pack, the Venom pack, it's yellow, it's safe for microchannel coils, okay? So we're gonna get rid of that batch, we're gonna create a new batch, and we're gonna live on the edge, and we're gonna use some chemical that is actually safe for microchannels. Same thing with this hose here, very easy, it's just attached in here, it's always connected up. This is a quick connect fitting, on here that gets connected to the nozzle very easily so here's the power button right here and it's got a connection point to plug in and here's the plug and here is the connection that goes into there to charge it up and if you're not using it there's just a little sleeve here we can slide that into just like that so I've turned it on I've turned the jet gun on and it's actually very quiet it's so quiet you can't even hear it so let's test out the nozzle here. Okay, so this is the diluted version of the Viper Venom Pack that we're spreading over the coil here. And we are getting some good pressure, some good force. And we're able to cover this coil actually quite quickly. I'm actually enjoying how quickly that we can actually soak this coil here. So we'll do the other side. We'll let that sit in there for a few minutes and then we'll rinse it off. Okay, so now we're gonna head inside this panel here and we're gonna clean from the inside out, push that dirt out. Let's see how it performs. Okay, so we are getting a good column of water through that and as you can see, that water is dirty. This unit here is the only one on the roof that really needed to be cleaned just because it runs all year long. And if I didn't have this, I would have to run about 400 feet of hose just to clean this unit. So this has worked out really, really well for this particular situation. So now we're catching the other side, the opposite side of the coil, and look at the dirt that's coming out of there. Look how dirty the water is. So the coil's actually a lot dirtier than I thought. So this coil cleaner is really doing the trick, and it doesn't feel like we've lost any sort of pressure or battery power or anything like that. And once I'm done with this, what we're gonna do is we're also gonna give these fresh air intake screens a good cleaning because this unit also runs in economy mode when it's cold enough outside and these screens plug up real fast. So we're gonna get those done too. Look at that dirt. 